Citizens input. Any citizens have anything tonight? I'm not sure if that's where I stand in or not, but I have a, a parking ticket I'd like to dispute. Okay. Yeah, would you state your name, please? Uh, Chris Heat. All right, Chris. I guess um, our officers that are here. Uh, where was the parking ticket at? I mean. Did you not get a parking ticket? Were you in a no parking zone? I don't understand for disputing it. Well, the the according to the uh, January 27th meeting from, from this meeting, a parking violation is thirty dollars, and the uh, the fine was fifty dollars on the the ticket. So that's all you're disputing is the cost of the ticket, not that you didn't deserve a parking ticket. As far as that's, I guess that's my question. If the meeting says, if it says the parking ticket is 30, what's our ordinance say? Or what's our fine say? It does say 30, okay. But if there's a discrepancy, I would honor the 2019 ordinance. What? Uh, our computers, yeah. he wrote it off the computer and it okay. was set down state. Oh. It says 50 on. <coughs> there, there's no way to change that DP in the, our computers. It's already preset, so. We had to call down state and send that. Send them. Travis was doing that for us. Okay. He was our liaison for that, but he's no longer with us. Okay. So if that's already disputing, is the price of the ticket the fifty dollars versus the thirty dollars? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Motion to reduce the fine on the ticket for. What's your last name, sir? Heat. Mr. Heat, from, uh, the 2021 ordinance of $30 Second. versus the one that was written on based on the old one. There is a typo in that ordinance that I need to rewrite. So. A motion is second to go ahead and drop the fine to $30 for 50 Is there any other discussion? If not, all in favor signal by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. There you go. That was painless, wasn't it? Well, 60% <laughs> less painless. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Can Anybody I pay this now or do I, need to, do I need to come back? I don't know what you guys do. I don't get involved in the, normally the police matters. We don't take the police the matters. We don't take the money here? The clerk office. The clerk's office, okay. Yeah, I don't know that right now we're going to yeah. be able to get yeah, your you receipt. Probably to come back in those oh. hours. Yeah. I'd have to restart all the computers and everything. I mean, to give you a receipt. Can, can you just mail me a receipt? If I, I mean, I live. Could he mail it in? Could he mail it in? Yeah. Oh, I can. Yeah, I can mail it in on the, on the thing. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me cash. Come here. Yeah. There's white receipts in the top drawer. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Any other citizens input? Fifty dollars. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> not <laughs> full business attorney report. Got a lot of updates, not a whole lot of business. Well, depending on that, I guess I do. Um, first thing, our Speedway uh, gas station property is going to be it's scheduled to close on the 27th, which is a week from this coming Friday. Paul's been helpful in getting documentation back that I've sent to him. Um, so everything's on a go and look positive for that. The Claudel property, if you remember at the last meeting, I think it was, we had authorized an extension on that until November 1. Um, that's been signed by everybody. That has also been recorded, so we're, we're good to go. We'll calendar that to November 1 and see where things are at there. The Spiegel property, again, another one of those uh, properties in poor condition. Um, there was basically the, the vote of the council to say we would accept a deed uh, in exchange for just dismissing the, the suit that we have filed in circuit court in Marshall County. We have the deed, we have the signed settlement agreement. Um, I don't have the deed back from the recorder's office yet, but it did get presented today. Don't expect any problems or issues, but um, just saying that's moving forward as well. Also, we have another property with Mr. Mora at 326 West Church Street. That was the property that we let out for bids to have contractors come in and do the work. And the deadline to submit bids or turn bids in was Monday. We have no bids. And this is, I'm gonna say, a not uncommon occurrence. Um, that's been a situation with the county too. Um, my recommendation is to let this out for bid again. Uh, but to maybe touch base with a couple contractors that we've known to do work with this type in the past and say, hey, there's a bid. Uh, if you're interested, please submit your bid and I'll just set up the time frame again to, to run this process through. But So we don't have any bids to open. There's nothing more to do other than just get your permission and authorization to go ahead and submit another request for bids. Is there a motion? Make a motion that Derek uh, submit another request for bids for the uh, Church Street property to be cleaned up. A second. A motion a second to have bids open again to clean up more property on Church Street. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor say no by saying aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay, that's what we'll do. Um, concerning uh, an issuance of a building permit for all family farms, um, we've had an executive session earlier this evening. Um, it's my understanding that there may be a sentiment to basically uh, to not accept a counter proposal in terms of a way to resolve issues, but we need to vote on that to say uh, that we would not accept a proposal to resolve that matter. Make a motion to uh, reject counter proposal from said parties. Second. There's a motion and a second to reject the counter offer on the off off family farms all family farms property. Any other discussion? Off property development. All of property same. development. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carried. The. The last thing I have is basically it's our zoning guys. Um, it's been a lot of people who spent a lot of time putting that thing together. I didn't even bring it with me tonight. Um, you need a copy of that with me. Right here. There you go. I'm there. Um, <clears throat> where we are at with that is that, again, it's been a, several months in the making. Uh, it originated in the plan commission. The plan commission had a public hearing and a public meeting on Monday evening, and they prepared a resolution that has been signed and forwarded to the council. It's 2021 from the plan commission. It says they're giving that a favorable recommendation. I prepared an ordinance that would accept and adopt the new zoning ordinance. It basically, it's a, it's, it's a more or less a wholesale repeal of our current land use development code. This will not take effect until we have notice published, and then it's 14 days after that. So any applications, any petitions that come forward until that point in time are still going to act under the Land Use and Development Code, assuming this passes this evening. But we are prepared to move this forward. 
I think it's also important that for the record that we note that when this has been considered, the council has paid reasonable regard to the comprehensive plan of the town, the current conditions and character of the current structures and uses in each district, the most desirable use for which the land in each district is adapted, the conservation of property values throughout the jurisdiction, and responsible growth and development. And again, that's in the ordinance, but again, that's kind of the standard. That's what you need to consider when you think about adopting this new zoning ordinance. Well, as a member of the Planning Commission, I uh, bring this to recommend to the Council who hasn't passed the ordinance. I've reviewed it, uh, not word for word, but I've browsed it pretty considerably. Um, I would make a motion to pass Ordinance 2021-12, an ordinance to repeal and amend text of the Town of Orgas Land Use and Development Code and Zoning Ordinance on and waive the rules and pass on all three readings. Second. There's a motion to suspend the rules and pass ordinance 2021-12 on all three readings. Is there any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Who's going to have to sign down this? That one double sided? No, thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I don't have anything more to report. Make a motion to pass the attorney report. Second. A motion is second to pass attorney report. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Next up. Downtown Square Bid Award. You can still get talk, don't you? No. So you got to talk. Yeah, anything about this? You get the, the recommendation from Troyer. Uh, out of those five bids, if you remember, I think you've all seen the amounts. Uh, so part of the fee that's, that's paid to Troyer is they go through and look through all those contractors to make sure they all met the bid specifications and that everybody is correct. Uh, so it's Troyer's recommendation to you uh, that you award the bid tonight uh, to Indiana Earth Incorporated. Uh, their base bid amount was $998,418. There's a contract in there. I stopped it for now. I didn't get this one. Thank you. Oh, did you get it? Okay. Yeah, so, she'll have something different. I don't know if you want to have... Uh, Derek, look it over final. before you sign it or get permission yeah, for George to final. sign it. So virtually what this, we had to wait to do this until we got the, uh, the release of funds from Okra for the grant, which Shannon got that this week. Uh, there'll actually be a meeting on the 24th during the day. They call it a pre-construction meeting. Uh, that contract you've had, actually, he sent that to them also mm -hmm. for them to review. So I'm sure Derek will need to review it before we do anything. Uh, but virtually all you're doing tonight is just awarding the actual bid to Indiana Earth that they were the lowest bidder and they were an acceptable bidder. Subject to the terms of the contract. Subject to the review of the terms of the contract. Yeah. So I, had some, I had some questions on the alternates, you know, the deducts, the alternates, add-ons, and that kind of stuff. Who makes that? Who's going to make that call? When we do that, yeah, we'll get into that after. We'll sit down and go over all that. The board will. Yeah, that's why we awarded this at the base bid. We didn't take anything off. Right. Didn't. Okay. Yes, from now on, you five will make those decisions, not the committee that came up with some of those initial things. Mm -hmm. So you'll have to approve any change orders, anything we change now on. I'll make a motion to approve the. Quote, provided it passes attorney review of the contract for Indiana Earth Incorporated for $998,418 for the downtown square project. Second. There's a motion and a second to award the bids to Indiana Earth for the downtown square upon 
our attorney reviewing the contract. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anyone have any new business or any other old business? I have one fact? thing. Um, as yeah. some of you know, I've been kind of working with Mark and Erica behind the scenes. Uh, well, about a month ago or a month and a half ago, we all had an exec meeting up here and we were discussing the employee handbook and benefits and the way things are tabulated and everything else. We've been working on this since then. Actually, we've done quite a bit of work on it. And we got to kind of a rough draft now to where I would ask the board for approval to put a subcommittee together consisting of three council members to try to refine this a little bit along with Mark uh, Vanderwheel. And I would also like permission to ask to call Lori, what's her last name? Myers. Myers in as she has extensive background in HR issues and she may qualify for overtime for them hours if we call her in for that. It needs to be two council. Hmm? Not three council, two. You can't have three in a room together. Not in an official exec published? That's not it. That's not an exec reason. No. Yeah. So I would okay. make two council for the subcommittee and then bring it to a workshop or... Okay. So I guess I would like permission to go forward with that to try to refine that. Um, along those guidelines, minus one council member. I well, guess what's it for to go through the handbook on? To remember, right, we have issues with hours across the departments, the way they're awarded, um, the way the HR laws are, and so that has to be revised. And then just looking at benefits in general, holidays, how they're paid versus departments and across there. It's pretty comprehensive what we've worked on so far get it to a place where it looks pretty decent um, but purposely just kept this for the small group of people right now just working on it in the background so I can get a working draft something we can work from because when we add the fire territory to it that puts the hours because there's shift differences we have we have one department that works eight hour shifts we have a department that works 12 hour shifts, we have a department that works 24 hour shifts. And the way that the vacation days are ordered across those, it makes it way out of balance when you look at it from a percentage standpoint, and that is an HR violation. But you would be looking at all employees. All employees. Oh, no, all employee benefits. Yes. And yeah. we're looking at yeah, everything. Who is it? Mm -hmm. Randy? Well, because he says on a fire territory board, and that's a third of that. We're going to have to get their approval on that side of it just as much as right. we're going to have to get the council for the other two. So, what are you saying? Yeah. You just want to review you sit on the committee. Yeah, this committee. All we're doing is virtually what Sean and Erica, we've just been emailing back and forth, throwing ideas out there. You can't have to. No, I know. So, Sean, Randy, myself, and Lori. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. She's been there. She can sit in the meeting. Erica? The council meeting. Oh. I would say invite Randy because we don't fire character right. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. So do we need to make a motion on that? Or if if that's what you wanted to do, I think you made a motion to set that committee up. I'm committee. asking for a board approval, so I, I, get, I don't want to make the motion for it. I'm so I'll make a motion that we uh, allow a committee to be set up to continue reviewing the employee benefits and uh, the committee consists of myself, Sean Harley, and then we'll have Lori Myers in here as HR. And Mark Vanderbilt. And Mark Vanderbilt. Anything else, George? No? You're going to go over the all the benefits as long as it's for, mm -hmm. for everybody. Yes. That's one of my main things is, is I it, uh, it has to be and I told Mark that has to be fair I mean right okay where's your motion second to all in favor aye 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 opposed thank you
Anybody have anything else? <clears throat> if not, we'll move on to Department of Ed reports. Police Department. I only have, you have my report. The only thing I have is one thing is the police commission approved or gave a conditional offer to a young man named Gary Spratt from Silver Lake for be a new officer who's a graduate from Purdue. And um, it was on condition that he passed his polygraph and the perf, and he's already had his polygraph and passed it flying colors. So we're waiting on a date for perf to send it down to Indy. I'd also like to add that uh, since I sit on the police commission, it's the first time in all the times that uh, we've taken applications for officers that we've basically had one applicant, and that's it. <laughs> First time, and I don't know. I've been on the commission for probably 15 or 16 years. But the one applicant is a very good He's a very good applicant, yes. Yeah, so we're, we're very fortunate that we got that one. So. Yes. And that'll bring us back up to five then? Well, right now they give us six. Oh, they give us higher, right. Yeah. Depending on, you know. And then there's still the a pending retirement. I'm not going to get into right. that. There's right. a pending yeah, retirement. Yeah, I know it's all that. So. Okay. Any questions for Corey? If not utilities, Jamie. Uh, you have my report. Uh, Woodland Trail lift station is complete. Remember, we moved that over to the pond. Um, <clears throat> submitted the community crossings uh, paving for 20.2, so we should get the results on that. Whether we get awarded, uh, I think it's in mid September, so. Be planning that for next year. So, storm sewer collapse behind the Quonset Hut. We're still looking into that. We had a camera crew come in today. We TV'd what we could, but the line was in such bad shape we couldn't get in most of it. So, um, county, it's it's partially county tile than ours. So I'm working with the county to figure out what they're going to do with theirs, and we'll have to fix ours and do some upgrades. So then um, the other thing I have. I put in for that uh, water and sewer rate study a while back. That's done, so we need to come up with a date for Eric to come in and kind of explain that. So um, we could do September 1st, we could do the 15th. Probably should look at a workshop. I think it's going to take a little while. We have while a workshop like the second. Yeah. Uh, the second meeting in September, we have a workshop scheduled. So we could do that for the 15th then. Or the time that George has something else. No, I was looking at the calendar. <laughs> Yeah, tell me about it. So it'd be the second. It'd have to be the second one, yeah. Good. Twenty second. What's that? Twenty second. September. No, it's the fifteenth. It's on the fifteenth. No, the fifteenth. I'm sorry, I skipped yeah. the first one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first see what happens when it's your wedding anniversary. You forget those dates. Yeah, <laughs> I've done that before. It's not a good idea. You <laughs> like sleeping. Well, I'll find out if that works for them. I'll get it set up with Lisa. Okay. Um, that's. All I have, again, we're busy, still working out of Poker Park, trying to get that landscape. Concrete's all done, but we're uh, trying to get grass seed down there, so we're getting dirt in there and everything else. Got just a couple more pads to pour, but I'm going to try to get it in the landscape, then we can get out and get those last couple benches. So we're waiting on the benches anyway, so there's no hurry. Looks really nice. Looks really nice. Yeah. Uh, I like to. Congrats. I mean, I was out to park just the other night and I noticed the lift station was done. I mean, it, look, it looks nice. You guys done a nice job out there. It's all backfilled nice. And it blends in well. So I thought uh, it looked better than I thought it would look. Yeah. <clears throat> so the big thing left is the pavilion. There's a little work there yet with the pavilion? Or? No, that's all. It should be all done. And then what about the, and this may be a source of the bridge. Going to replace the we, we can't do anything with that. We can't touch it? Not right now. I mean, it, I don't know. That was something they wanted to do, but we don't really need to. Okay, that, not, I'm not fine right with it too. Not right now. It don't bother me. Mm -hmm. I don't go across it. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, he's telling you they got something else in their mind. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a submarine. <laughs> All right, any other questions for Jamie? If not, fire report. Share my report there. <clears throat> Nothing happened. I was on the 28th of August here. We're going to have our fun day. 
Bart Perlman's ahead again with the kids' day. Uh, tours, fire truck tours. Pools, gonna be swimming, water slides, cotton candy, just everything for kids and uh, the community. Give back to the community one more time and um, what it's all about. Where's it at? You'll be right here in front of the station, town grass right out in front. So, just give them back to the kids. Sounds good. Yeah. You got Aaron's report in your packet, everybody? It's not on call. So they've done 111 runs so far this year, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's above normal. Yeah. For this time of year. Yeah. So people aren't afraid to go to the hospital and die from COVID again yet, so they just call an ambulance. Yeah. Well, it's what they didn't do. This <laughs> month has been a little slow, but we've been 10 to 15 a month, so yeah. Yeah, our numbers are up. Uh, Looks good though. You guys have done a great job. Okay, Mark, economic. We got all yours too. Anything else you want to say? Uh, a couple things. Uh, the Elevate group I was supposed to bring up. They're going to have a 9/11 ceremony on 9/11 this year. Was on that day on Saturday at Memorial Park at 6 p.m. Uh, can't tell you much more than that. I haven't quite been involved in that one. Uh, with on stage, speaker, uh, fire department's involved. Uh, that is going to be a memorial park on September 11th. Uh, the only other thing that I know we need to do, uh, Jamie got the last piece for a puzzle for our subdivision. Uh, he and I are going to sit down and, and work on some figures that we somehow are going to have to get to you to sit down with you guys on just so everybody's clear what's where, how, what this is going. So just a heads up. That's really all that I have besides what's in our report. Any questions for Mark? I just don't know how to work your dust plow. No. I can never get my Dropbox or towel. I get it on my phone. No. Motion to accept. Make a motion to accept uh, the department head report. A second. A motion a second to accept the department head reports. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Claims August 7th through August 16th. I am, I have it this time. <laughs> but the total is $466,539.28. And you'll notice that um, I think we paid uh, like the Speedway property and a couple of other things that were bigger this time. The Speedway property is all paid for now. We're just waiting on paperwork to come back yeah. and everything else. It's in escrow. It's not been mm -hmm. delivered, yeah. but right. it's sitting there. Very good. And there was another, um, oh, the paving for the community crossing grant that was paid to Wreath Riley. The first payment out of the community crossing. So that was like 230 some odd thousand of that. Make a motion through the claims for the docket for 818-2021. Claims from 8-3-2021 to 8-16-2021 for a total of $466,539.28. Mm -hmm. Second. The motion is accepted to accept the claims in the amount of $466,539.28. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Hey man, I see you out there writing a bunch of notes. So we, you got anything for us or are you just here observing tonight? Observing. Just observing? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Man, all them notes get <laughs> Well, thanks for coming anyway. Motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs>